Hello, hello everyone and welcome. Do I look a little familiar? It might be because maybe you watched me unbox my first booster box of Obsidian Flames and now I am here to show you the organization that comes along with it. So as you can hopefully see here, I have got the aftermath of my unboxing of Obsidian Flames here. It's awful. It's just an unorganized mess. We've got all the pack wrappers, we've got hits, we've got non-hits, we've got everything just jumbled together. I mean, my recap pile is on top here, and then the rest of it, you know, it was just me opening up cards. That was just how the cards got opened and stacked up on the side. So now, I want to make this look much nicer. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Ah, the evolution of organization. It changes with <laughs> Scarlet and Violet uh, just you know the sets are different so my organization I mean maybe I never did it exactly the same way with each set anyways but I've just noticed with these videos like I, I definitely do my organizing a little different each time in terms of the steps I take to get to the final organization but in general it's all really the same I mean first off I'm separating hits and non hits hollows and non hollows reverses energies code cards all of that stuff like I want to get everything separated sleeved up when I can especially the nicer hits you know I want to sleeve them up right away so I can preserve them but yeah generally just organizing everything like that you know separating out the art gallery cards getting rid of my code cards because those have already been given away so let's put those into recycling get my energies put to the side and put into bulk because for some reason I feel bad putting those in recycling even though I don't do anything with them but yeah then you know separating things out when and where I can in terms of typing the way that Pokemon does it because that's how I like to organize my binders is by typing and by numerically and Pokemon organizes their cards by numbering them from different energy types. So they always start off with grass Pokemon, and then they go into fire, then they go into water, then they go into electric, and then I think it's psychic, and then ground, and etc. etc. Um, you know, you just really I should know the order of things. They always end on the colorless energy and then go into trainers. I should know the order by now. I know the beginning, I know the end. <laughs> it's the middle parts where I'm like, does this go before this? But then what about this? I, I, Either way, <laughs> here you go. Um, it's all getting organized here, and I don't worry about the number yet. I'm just gonna organize it by typing first, and then once I get things separated by typing, then I can go through and put them in numerical order. So, you know, Pokemon puts the number at the bottom of the card, the bottom left as of right now, and so you can just go by that. Of course, if I got any cards that are duplicates, I personally keep three of non holo cards and two of hollow cards for my binder. I mean, granted, I still keep the extra hollows beyond two and in this booster box. My god, you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, I don't want to spoil anything, but the amount of duplicate hollows that I got was actually infuriating. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten five of the same hollow in a box before, but that Obsidian Flames proven me wrong. <sighs> Maybe it was only four, but either that's too many that's too many so I pick out my two favorites or my three favorites if it was just a common or uncommon and then I just like I said I order them numerically it takes a long time but that's how I do my binder so you gotta get to it and that's just how the beginning of it is so once I've got all of that organized then I just stack it all up get it all ready and then we can build the actual binder so I will show you that here at the over at the kitchen table where I do my binder building Let's go. All right, and now the fun part. Woo, this is all done. This part can get tedious too, but in the beginning it's fun. <laughs> so I have this very appropriate binder for this set. I mean the ETBs and everything. This is the image. So I'm going to be using this one. This was one of the Ultra Pro binders. I love these binders. They are my favorite. I just get them off of Amazon. I like the black backing and everything. And they're just nice and sturdy and I love when they come out with the ones that have something printed on it. Although I am very sad. I had just found an Etsy store that makes the set names in nice big stickers and then the set symbol that you can put on the side of the binder. They're gone. The Etsy store is gone. I don't know where they disappeared to. I mean, I'm glad I got the order in when I could, so most of my binders have them, but from here on out, what am I gonna do? Apparently, like, no one else makes them, and I am so sad. It would have fit perfectly right there, the set name. 
but I guess it just is what it is. Okay. And this is the part of the video where I tell you that I use Poe Collector to organize my cards or to help me with the organization of my cards. It's not sponsored. I just literally use this website. You can use anything like the little player's guide that comes in the ETBs or whatever, but this is how I like to do. I like to have a visual, yeah, to help me out. So you can see they just have all of the sets listed. They've got the new Scarlet and Violet and then going backwards. So we've got everything from Sword and Shield. We've got everything from Sun and Moon, from X and Y, etc., etc so you can just find whatever set it is that you are working on. We are clearly working on Obsidian Flames, so that is where we will go. You can see a little blurb about it, you can see the amount of cards when it was released, and then the card list down here where you can check off the cards that you have as you go. There are also ads on this site, so <laughs> just appreciate that it's free. But yeah, you can just go along with it like I'm going to do. I already have everything sorted, but obviously I don't know which cards I am missing. So that is the point of having Poe Collector. So let's get on into the binder here. Let's see. Hopefully this is a good spot for you that you can see. Uh, like I think I said, Pokemon starts by organizing the cards into grass type first. So I have got my grass types here that I already organized. So number one, we have got Oddish. You can see all the card numbers down in the bottom corner there along with the set name. But yes, number one, we have got Oddish. So we can slide Oddish in. We then have Gloom, number two. So along with, uh, you know, putting them in order of typing, they also will end up keeping the evolutions together as well. Uh, so you can see we have Oddish, Gloom. If you want, you can check these off on Poe Collector as you go. So we have got Oddish, we have got Gloom, but you can see next I have Scyther. I am missing Blossom. So we're going to make sure to leave that spot there and then take Scyther, number four, and put it in the fourth slot. We then have number five, Shuckle. Slide that right in. We've got number six, Surskit. So we can go ahead and slide that in as well. And it really is just this easy, my friends. As long as you can count, which, you know, I sometimes have my issues too. And, you know, sometimes there might be a cat that wants to uh, pretend that they're helping. But, uh, yeah, overall, this is just what we do. So Masquerade, number seven. We've got Combi, number eight. One of the few where I actually got three of the one card. So we're going to say, excuse me doo doo and then we are going to slide combi into number eight and then fungus is number nine yes doo doo we counted to nine mm, isn't that so special but we are not done with this page like I said we can check off the cards that we slid into the binder Da, 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 up to fungus but then we have our blank spot here so i've got my little block of sticky notes they're orange very appropriate for the set but we're just going to take our handy dandy pen you can use whatever pen you would like these ones were from the u brands target i just liked the color and the feel of them and i like a good marker tip but we have got blossom here we also get to test my spelling prowess, AKA I mess up a lot. Uh, and then I also am going to put number three on here because I can't tell you how many times. <laughs> Not only does Pokemon, you know, sometimes they include more than one artwork for one Pokemon. So it's good in that sense, but I will think that I'm about to put a card away in the correct binder and then I go and I've got my Blossom card and I go to put it in number three but then I notice Blossom is number 12 or something and then I'm like oh wrong set so <laughs> that is that and I am just gonna go ahead and continue that for the rest of the binder this part takes a long time so you're just gonna get a glorious speed through and I hope you enjoy <laughs>
So here we have it. Sorry, the sunlight is not optimum for this apparently today, but uh, we've been getting through it. We've been getting our sticky notes on. You know, as always, the saddest part is always the full art section, but it seems like, at least in this set, Pokemon didn't release as many, which I'm personally A-OK -okay with. It'll be easier to collect that way, but I'm just getting used to the new naming systems as well. So like, illustration rares ultra rares instead of full arts, special illustration rares instead of alternative arts, and then also hyper rares instead of gold cards, blah, blah, blah. But now we are getting into our reverse section, our reverse hollow section, at least where I like to put my reverses. I know some people like to put their reverse cards right on top of, you know, the normal Pokemon card, but I personally like to, you know, leave the cards as they are, as they were meant to be, as just normal non-shiny cards and then a special section for all the shininess so in this section it's basically the same as before except this time around just have to be cognizant that certain cards such as the EX cards those don't come in a reverse hollow form so we will do these numbered the same way as we have been doing so save a space for Oddish who's number one gloom is number two as it has been so we can put that right in the number two slot. Blossom is number three, so hollows do come in a reverse hollow form. So that we will put into slot number three. And then we have got four, five, number six is Surskit. I think the first EX isn't until like number 20 something, so bear with me here. But seven, eight, we have got Combi. At this point, I don't care about doing sticky notes, so we're just gonna skip to to the next page, saving a spot for number nine, Fungus, and then we will get to 10, 11, Phantom, right on in there, buddy. We've got 12, 13 for Rowlet, 14 for Dartrix. Let's see, yeah, Toad's Cruel is the first EX, and that's number 22. So 14, 15, 16 for Bound Sweet, 17 for Steeny, looking familiar, yes, yes. 18, number 19 for small live, and then, like I said, so we will leave a space here for number 20, doll live, number 21, our believer, but then number 22, normally Toad Scroll EX would go in here, but that will never exist in a reverse hollow. So skip over that. Oh no, there was one. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so I've already messed up. <laughs> Decidueye EX, apparently. I missed Decidueye EX. So that would have been number 15. Number 15 doesn't exist in a reverse, so we have to skip that and then put number 16 right there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so glad I caught that now instead of at the end. <laughs> Y'all would have been screaming. Uh, so 16, 17, 18, small it is 19. In you go, buddy. Yes, 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 we all make mistakes. 20 Dolive, 21 Arboliva, skipping 22 Toad Scroll. So this will actually be number 23 Capsicid. And I have number 24 Capsicid. So you will slide right on in. And then I'm just gonna continue that for the rest of the reverses, hoping I don't skip any more EXs. Wish me luck. So you can see I needed a few extra pages here for my reverses. Bummer, but you know, they should slide in easily enough. Uh, so this is kind of what you can expect from one booster box nowadays. At least, I guess, mainly just from Obsidian Flames, you know. Each set is going to be different, but we definitely get quite a few more reverses since we get almost two in every single pack, depending on if you get an illustration rare or a special illustration rare or whatever. But there you can go. That's what I got out of my booster box anyways. And then you can see 
definitely lots of work to be done in this section, but that is always to be expected. But also, you know, some commons, uncommons, and then hollow rares, and definitely EX cards that I still need to get to fill out these front pages. But, you know, overall, compared to before with VMAXs and V cards and all that, the front main portion of the binder actually fills up a bit more quickly, which I have no problems with. So there is after a booster box getting put into the binder. Now let's go ahead and see if I'm able to add anything. Spoiler alert, I, I definitely will be able to add something <laughs> uh, with the addition of my two elite trainer boxes. Cassie, you've got some splaining to do. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> It's been at least a like a few weeks since I put together my binder. I've done an apartment move, so we're working with new lighting. I also don't know if I'm about to add the correct stack of cards to this binder. It should be the cards that I got from my ETB battle with Obsidian Flames that I am now adding here. However, I'm not positive about it. But I kind of am because I have the stack with very few hits, but like I said, things get lost in the shuffle, things get confused and spilt, and you know how it is, right? But I do like to show you guys, you know, the addition of things in this binder build so that you can see how nice and satisfying it is. Wow, is the lighting better here? I don't know, it's kind of looking nice in my viewfinder. Um, not too much glare or anything, but it is still nice to be able to see things getting added to the binder so you can see the satisfaction of ripping off a sticky note. So I think these are the cards that I got for my ETB battle, like said. So I know we'll be able to add a couple, not a ton, especially considering, you know, how many cards come in those ETBs. Sorry, spoiler if you haven't seen that video, but uh... <laughs> It was a yikes. It was a yikes of a video. Wait a minute. I must have missed where wait. Oh dark type I was thinking fire type. I was like <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this even the right set? Um, but yes, yes, it is so no additions here as far as I know I think the first edition and like I said chances are there are some cards like this belly bolt that I might have pulled but I hadn't added them to this uh, sleeved up pile so I don't no, so my apologies, but we, I think, pulled this Miraidon EX in that video, so, I mean, even if we didn't, I pulled it at some point. <laughs> so I'm gonna add it to the binder, and I'm gonna take off this sticky note and feel real good about it, okay? So, that's nice, uh, and now we can keep on keeping on. Let's see what else, I mean, most of this is gonna be for the reverse gallery, I believe. But, you know, it is what it is, so, um, Houndoom EX, very good card, at least I really like it. Evil Claw and Hound's Fang, yep, that's the one, so we're gonna add that in there, very nice. We have got this guy who just <laughs> looks like he's saying, please Caps, you learn to love me. I'm sorry, I don't like your design, it just is what it is. Some people don't like my design, like it just, that's just life, okay? Let's, okay, you're still appreciated in terms of a new addition to my binder, so let's, let's be happy about that, eh? Okay, now, let's see, we can add in this Greedent EX, very nice, so yeah, basically just EX editions here, but very nice to have, because I clearly needed them for the binder. And now we can look through our reverses, see if we were able to get anything new there. Definitely still need a lot of art cards and full arts and that sort of stuff, but um, let's see. Okay, Gloom, we have one of you, so I can add a friend. Same with Blossom, my goodness. Okay, but no Oddish yet. That's okay, hopefully eventually. Let's see, can we add anything new? Yes, we can add in both of these reverse Charmanders. Very nice. Welcome to the binder, buddies. Vulpix, you are number 28, so you can go right next to Charmeleon. Nummel is number 31. We do already have Nummel, but only one of them, so you can have a friend. God, it's just crazy. In the few weeks that these haven't been in a binder, they really do bend with that hollow on them. 
um, see, Heat Warrior number 39. Oh, we do have you. Okay, well, friendship, enjoy. I mean, I feel like you hear about it a lot, you know, with old Pokemon cards, how that happens, but either way. Extra Larvesta, you'll go into bulk. Charcadet, wow, not too much new for the reverses. I'm kind of surprised. Got number 57 for Frogadier. Let's see. All right, we'll take that newness. It looks like Wug Trio is going to be new. Number 59, 7, 8, 9. So we will add you in right there. Magnazone, we do have you, but you can have a friend. Tynamo, number 67. I believe you will be going right there bud next we have tad bulb we do have two tad bulbs but not this tad bulb wow three of them in one set okay we will add you right there we've got a belly bolt number 77 so it looks like the other belly bolt will go right there if i ever pull that we've got cliffa such a cutie patootie we've got togepi oh very nice 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 uh, and then Snubble, which it looks like we already have, but there you go, my friends. There's the binder as of right now. I mean, you've, you've seen it, right? Kind of. <laughs> We've got our extra pages here for reverses. When we pull any of those, we're missing a lot of them, my god. But we will get there eventually, hopefully. And for now, we're just going to enjoy the journey that is Pokemon cards. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I do my binder here. This is what it looks like after, what, one booster box plus two ETBs. So definitely still missing a ton of cards, but we've got a good start going here, and it'll be very fun to be able to fill up the binder eventually. So thank you for joining me on the journey of filling this up and organizing and everything. As I said, I hope you enjoyed and maybe got some tips, tricks, something out of this video, or just some companionship, you know, if you're just listening to me in the background, whatever. You can do whatever, and that is A-OK. -okay. And then we are at the very beginning, and we can enjoy the satisfaction of putting these sticky notes into the recycling. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing the put together version of my booster box as well as the additions that I was able to add to it today. You should certainly let me know uh, any tips and tricks you have for binder building, how do you do it, um, and really just anything you want to tell me comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful by giving it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!